What's up, Anifex? This is TechFanatic9 from UltimateDroid.blogspot.com. With me, I have the official installation. I had to install the official AOKP Jelly Bean Build 1 for your Galaxy Nexus GSM and Verizon. Unfortunately, for Sprint, it is not out yet, so please be patient while the developers are still working on that. And this ROM can be used as a daily driver if you're wondering, so this is a big thumbs up. Everyone can use it, everybody can use it every day, all day long, no problems, nothing like that. It has been released officially by AOKP, so it is all good to go. Right away, let's just plug in our phone via micro USB. And while I am plugging it in, I want to let you know that you must have Clockwork Mod Recovery already installed on your on your device, on your Galaxy Nexus. So if you don't have it installed, look right there on how to install for Mac and how to install for Windows right there. So make sure you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Once you got it installed, plug your phone in via micro USB to the USB port of your computer and we'll be transferring some, some files back and forth. Alright, so we got the our phone plugged in and Clockwork Mod Recovery already installed on our phone. So now as you can see, you got these three files here. One is Mangoro for GSM, one is Toro for Verizon and GApps, which you'll be transferring for both your both devices. So mine is GSM, so I'm gonna be transferring it GSM. And also as you can see, I am on a Mac, so I am going to be using Android file transfer. If you're on Windows, you can just use the default explorer to transfer your zip files. So the zip files will be in the description below, so just download those files from the description below and then keep watching this video. So mine is Mangor like I said earlier, I'm gonna transfer that file into here. So I'm just gonna replace that, and I am also gonna be transferring GApps. You're gonna be transferring GApps for both GSM and for Verizon, so it's gonna apply to both. So I'm gonna be transferring both of them. I'll be back once it's complete. All right, it is complete. As you can see, the full, both files are transferred. So now you can just close out everything as long as you have both the two zip files transferred onto your phone. And you can disconnect your phone and we're going to do the rest of the process on our Galaxy Nexus GSM or Verizon phone. Okay, we have everything transferred, clock remote recovery installed. So we're going to be entering into recovery mode. So right away just power off your device. So just power off. Give it a few seconds. Alright, it's powered off now. Press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Keep holding until you feel vibration. Okay, let go. Now you'll be on this screen. Press the power or the volume up twice. Volume up twice and power button. Alright, now you'll be at this screen. Right away, we're going to be clearing all the cache and all the data on our phones. So, if you have important data on your phone, please do not forget to back it up. Reboot system now, right away, select that. Uh, transfer all the files to your computer so it's all backed up and safe just in case. And like I said earlier, it would delete everything on your phone. That's a warning. So, right we're going to go to wipe data slash factory reset, the third one. Go all the way down to select, yes. Using the power button to select it and volume up and down to navigate. Alright, that is complete. Now we're going to go to wipe cache partition and go to NTS once again and it will clear it. Now we're going to go into advance, the last one, select it and then clear Dalvik cache. All the NTS and power. Done, that was a very quick one. Then we're going to go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then we're going to select AOKP Mangro or Toro. Matters which is your GSM or Verizon. As you can see right there. Give that a few AOKP Mangro right there. Select that one and select this yes, like before. Alright, that is complete. Once again, we're going to choose the zip from SD card and we're going to select that G apps. So you can see G apps right there. And we're going to select that. And it will install the Google, all the Google apps, Google Talk, Google Play Store, Gmail, all that things that you usually get by default. Okay, that is complete. Now once again, or not again, we're going to go back. And we're going to reboot the system now, the very first one. So now it will reboot into the official Jelly Bean AOKP for your Galaxy Nexus GSM or Verizon build one that is stable. So let's just wait till it boots up as you can see. So you can see this actually on the AOKP boot up sign. As you can see it's AOKP boot up sign. You may have seen this, it's a very popular ROM. I'll be back once it's done booting up. 
Okay, that is complete. So let me just skip through all this. Okay, so let's go into settings and show you that it's actually on AOKP Mangrove. Let's go to about phone. And as you can see it's on 4.1.1, obviously that is Jelly Bean. This is kernel version if you like, and AOKP version, AOKP Mangrove, yours might say Toro if you're on Verizon. And you can see build 1, so you're on the official AOKP Jelly Bean that is stable for daily driver. So when Jill this ROM, this is an excellent ROM, any AOKP ROM has to be excellent. They're just an outstanding, great ROM. They have great developers, they have a great team behind them, so don't forget to donate to them and give them a big thanks on the on the forum if you if you enjoyed this ROM. So because they did work hard on this. Hope you found this video helpful and how to install it. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. And to rate if you like this video. Thanks for watching guys, and if you need any help, you can contact me at Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus in the, in, from the description below. And for emergencies, contact me at techfanatic9 at gmail.com. techfanatic9 at gmail.com. All links in the description below. See you next video. Yeah.